All right, guys, welcome back. We have a new story in the NHL today talking about how the Vancouver Canucks have fired their national anthem singer, Mark Donnelly, on December 6th, 2020, for agreeing to sing at an anti-masker rally in Vancouver, British Columbia. And once again, as always, the Jesuit fingerprints are all over it. So we're going to get into this story. First of all, notice how he was fired on a date with 58 numerology, December 6th, like how Vancouver Canucks sums to 58. So does Freemasonry. So does Rosicrucian. So does Secret Society. So December 6th, the date written 12 slash 6, like how Vancouver, B.C., like you'd write on a postcard is 126. Mark Donnelly was 60 years old. He's got the leap year birthday, February 29th. From his birthday to the date he was fired was exactly 281 days. 281 is the 60th prime number, like how he was 60 years old, like how February 29th is the 60th day of the year. It's also a total span of 282 days after his birthday. And Vancouver, British Columbia is 282. So we're going to read this article, which is linked right here from the New York Post, which has always been controlled by the Jesuits. And we're going to show once again how undeniably this is another big Jesuit ritual. Notice his name, Mark Donnelly, 144 and 54, just like Jesuit order. So the Vancouver Canucks fired longtime national anthem singer Mark Donnelly after learning he would be singing at a a rally organized by coronavirus deniers and anti-mask advocates. Shortly after the Vancouver Sun reported that Donnelly had agreed to perform at, at an event called the Christmas Freedom Rally in Vancouver on Saturday, where hundreds planned to gather to protest COVID-19 restrictions, Canucks owner Francisco Aquani tweeted at the newspaper to request they change their headline to former Canucks anthem singer. Aquani also wrote, wear a mask. Canucks spokesperson confirmed the dismissal to CBC writing, you are safe to say his days are over. According to the Canadian press, Donnelly told the crowd that he is, that he still decided to sing because he questions the Dracronian lockdown protocols. He described his firing from the institution he's been publicly associated with since 2001 as censorship, which, you know, quite frankly, he's absolutely right. I mean, that's what it, uh, that's what it's all about. That's why, you know, people who put out this knowledge are also are getting the real censorship by getting their videos deleted, their channels taken down. You know, does that sound like freedom? You know, this guy gets fired for, you know, wanting to sing at a, you know, freedom Christmas rally. I mean, and we know it's all by the numbers, but it just goes to show you what a joke it is. I mean, they're telling you that this is all about taking away your freedoms, you know, all across the world. So Donnelly said that he that he hadn't heard directly from Aquali or the Canucks and that he thought a phone call to hear him out would have been a more respectful way to terminate the partnership. It says the 60-year-old Vancouver native had been a staple at Canucks home games for 19 years. Then he gets fired over COVID-19. However, this isn't his first this isn't the first time his political views have stirred up controversy. In 2012, Donnelly sang the national anthem for an anti-abortion caravan as it passed through Vancouver. And notice, you know, Vancouver Canucks, they got the 193 Gematria, just like how 193 is the 44th prime, like mask, like cancer, like chemo, like kill. And the list goes on with 44. But the thing is, I mean, just think about it, right? Like last winter, when they announced the pandemic, March 11th, they talked about how they didn't make masks mandatory because Anthony Fauci, the Jesuit, And all these other mainstream puppets came out and said, we don't want to make masks mandatory because then people will be fussing with the masks. They'll be touching their face and they'll be spreading the virus even more. Then they come out during the summertime and say that, you know, we made a mistake. The virus isn't nearly as bad as we thought. It's not nearly that big of a killer. 
but we're going to make masks mandatory for everybody. Yet they didn't do it during wintertime when people are naturally getting sick. And yet during the summertime, when everybody's healthy, then all of a sudden we're making masks mandatory. I mean, it's just a joke. It's a total joke. You know, they expect you not to be able to put two and two together, which is exactly what gematria is. So again, notice the Vancouver Canucks, they were established May 22nd. That's the 142nd day of the year, like how coronavirus is 142. Oh, Canada, the Canadian anthem that he was singing. Notice it was adopted July 1st, a date written 7 slash 1. <clears throat> from that birth, from, from July 1st to the date he was fired, it's 158 days, like how Freemasonry is 158. Canucks Sports and Entertainment, who owns the Canucks, who that Francisco is the uh, chairman of, is also 158. That's the date the Jesuits were created in Paris, France. And then speaking of the Jesuits, Gary Bettman, the very proud Jesuit who runs the NHL. Again, this entire code of letters and numbers is Jewish. Gary Bettman's Jewish. Notice he's got the June 2nd birthday. It's two slash six, like how virus, COVID, China, they're all 26. That's a date written two slash six. But from his birthday to December 6th is 187 days, just like Society of Jesus, or a total span of 188 days like Bavarian Illuminati. Of course, the Bavarian Illuminati was established by the Jesuit Adam Weissop. And of course, his name sums to 126, just like the date December 6th, 12 slash 6. So more news by the numbers. Did this man really get dismissed? We don't know. Till next time.